Hey guys, Queso Man Rules here. Today's tutorial is brought to you by Ghost Rider 433. Um, this tutorial was suggested by him through a private message on YouTube the other day, and he wanted to know how to access your computer from anywhere, as shown in my uh, other video, and he wanted to know how to do it from a public place like a school or like a workplace where they don't let you install the VNC viewer to view your computer. Well, the trick behind this is using something called portable applications. Now, portable applications have a lot more uses than just VNC viewing. They can let you do just about anything from anywhere. Um, you know, and something I'll be doing special on today is Ultra VNC Viewer Portable. Now, um, this is what um, Ghost Rider 433 wanted to know, and this is how you do it. Um, after getting this portable application, which I'll show you how to get, how to get all these, um, when you run it, it runs directly off the flash drive. And right here, here you go, you can just type in the IP address, which is found, if you watch my other video, on your home computer. Now you'll be running this from, like, your school or your workplace. But if you want to see your home computer, just uh, make sure at home your computer's on and has the two things running that need to run as shown in my other video and just type in the IP address that's right there just write it down before you leave or something and once you get there you can just type it in right here click connect and you're viewing your computer via VNC from anywhere you want um, I'll go into depth a little bit more of that later and a um, couple of whoops just clicked on that one got Clamwin for virus protection and like end view in case I want to update the website and a backup which I will be showing you how to do also now um, right here this is called a portable start menu this is called peg top p start which is um, I in my opinion the best portable start menu available it um, lets you group all of your applications into convenient little folders and lets you um, you know have different names lets you I mean if you click on edit like right here you can change the name where it's located even give it special command line parameters it's got lots and lots of features you can search all your portable apps if you have that many just uh, add notes um, it even has a sort of thing like um, CPU-Z or something like that that lets you view like the information about the computer that you're running on and it's got even more information right here if you click on that um, what makes this even better is all the great settings it has in here lets you completely customize it lets you you know when you um, when you X out of it it stays in the tray so the idea is that you don't get caught using it because it's in the tray no one's gonna notice that there and it lets you back up all the settings that you have in here it lets you do all of that and restore them and even create an auto run file which makes it so that it, as soon as you plug your flash drive in this will automatically run and there are lots of different features like that there's even features that let you like run it upon run different programs upon plug-in of the flash drive and a lot of great stuff like that so now I'm going to show you how to get this just open up your Firefox and first let's get the applications. We'll get the start menu in a minute. So go to portableapps.com. Uh, this link will be in the description. It is the number one place to get portable apps um, really out of anywhere. There are plenty more that can be found by going around the internet, but this is a nice like almost repository of them where the just a bunch are. If you go to the site and click on applications, you can see right here that they have a bunch of them all the way down the page and they're all grouped into different, you know, different categories. So let's do one for example, let's do Firefox Portable. Just click on it and click download. And it'll redirect you to the site and the download will begin. Now I've already downloaded it, all you have to do is download it like normal. And then I go into here and here it is. Uh, just run this. Click next. It's just like a regular installation except for this part right here. This is the really important part. Get to this point. It says destination folder. Click browse. Go to your computer. Go to your flash drive and wherever you want to save it on there. I have all my portable apps in a, pro in a folder called programs. I'm just going to do this one to the root just for an example. But if you have like a small flash drive and you're only using it for portable apps, you might just want to save it to the root or whatever you want. So I'm just going to do it there and click install. 
and that takes a few minutes. Uh, while I'm doing that, uh, or while you're doing that, you can look over the other portable applications available. There are plenty of them, and they're all great. Uh, it just really depends on what you what your uses are for them, what you need. But I mean, you know, there's there's Enview, which lets you edit your website pretty much from anywhere, as long as you make sure that you um, upload your other or you, you upload your HTML files to your flash drive too, so you can access those. And there's just everything. Um, let's also do right here. See now, one of the things is is that the Ultra V and C V are portable is not available here, as are many that I have that they can't be found here. So the best thing to do to find portable apps, of course, is Google it. So just go to Google.com and type in the search bar whatever you want. So I'm going to do Ultra VNC Viewer Portable. Oops. And just search it. And right here. Uh, I guess maybe it is on portalapps.com. I guess I missed it. Um, no, it's not. It's just someone put it in the forums. Um, here are the links. Yeah, one of the great things also about portable apps is if they're not actually hosted on the site, you can search in their search bar and someone will have posted the links in the forums. So you can just click on the link in the forum thing. I'll also have this direct link in the down in the description, and you can just download it. And as we can see, also this Mozilla Firefox Portable has finished. So we click finish, and if you go to your flash drive, and you can see right here in a folder called Firefox Portable, open it up and click Firefox Portable.exe, and it'll run. It's not going to run right now because I it only lets you have one Firefox open at a time but because I have that one open but it works just like normal and you can completely customize it it'll save all your changes to it if you add add-ons or something like that so now let's do this ultra VNC viewer portable this works pretty much the same way just make sure you um, you click on this and you can go to uh, the same spot where you went before computer your flash drive and I'll just save this one to the root too and click install and that'll install. This one will probably go a little bit faster because it's a lighter application than Firefox Portable. Yep, it's already done. So here you go right here. Ultra VNC Viewer Portable. And it runs just like the one that I showed you earlier. It's the same thing. And there it is. So you can connect from anywhere. So now that you've gone around and gotten yourself some pretty cool portable apps, uh, you, like I showed you earlier, you really want a portable start menu that gives you an easy way to access them. So the way that we do that is go to Firefox, and this link will also be in the description, to pegtop.net, and this is their portable start menu called pstart. Just click download, and this depends on what kind of flash drive you have right here. If you have a U3 compatible flash drive and you know that you do, like you're sure of it, you know what I'm talking about, then you can go ahead and download that one. If you either know you don't or aren't sure if you do, just download the regular one and just save it to the downloads. I'm not going to do it again because I pre-downloaded it for the video. Just double click on the setup, click next, I accept, and next again. Now you're going to want to click on portable setup because you can also do it on local but that's not really got a lot of point. And just click on portable drive and it'll be on, mine's K, depends on whatever yours is. Click next. Make sure if you click browse that it's on your flash drive and just click install. I'm not going to install it because it'll probably install over the one I already have, but it works just fine. It works like um, normal. And as soon as it's done, you can just go to your flash drive or wherever you um, saved it. So if you saved it in your flash drive, like in, under a folder, it'll be there. But mine's just on the root, so I can just double click it and it'll run. So if you want to just start adding folders, just right click, right click and click add group. There you go and um, name it like whatever category you want like I have internet you could do like if you're like a game developer you can do game dev and it'll be right there and it, I think it automatically goes under like if you have one selected but now it's separate and you can just click add file and browse for the program that you just downloaded or any of the portable apps that you want and just add those in there. It doesn't take too long to organize and it's pretty nice once you do and everything can run really quickly. Thanks again to Ghostwriter433 for suggesting this video and um, good luck with your portable apps and your fun at the workplace or school. Um, this is Case of Man Rules saying see you later.